and it thought for like 12 seconds. So ChatGPT nowadays has become one of the biggest topics that almost every conversation involves ChatGPT, but how you can actually use ChatGPT every day, even if you're not a tech bro, even if you're not a software engineer, from your day-to-day -day life. You actually need to live in real life. The fuller you live in real life, the better ChatGPT can help you. In this video, I'm just going to share with you three actual use cases that I've been using ChatGPT in the past 20 something months. It's not about being perfect. It's not about being an AI software engineer. It's also not about being someone who understands all of these, how it works. It's more about giving you back the time that you don't have. And these are the tricks that you will get to use no matter who you are in everyday life. Let's dive in. So the first one is drafting replies. I know it sounds simple and easy, but that's actually one of the first and the easiest way to use ChatGPT and save up almost all of the time that you just looking at a blank page and sometimes receive an email not knowing where to start. The way that I usually do, I will tell ChatGPT about the context of what the email is about, and then I will copy the email body. And usually ChatGPT will reply something that's really, really generic. Uh, but as I can, you can see from my, all the videos in the past, how I use ChatGPT, ChatGPT to personalize it and customize it to the way that it sounds very like me. Even though nowadays you can still throw out some of the not very generic replies, but I will be able to just say one word like make it sound like me and then it will immediately make it sound like me. We're gonna do a short uh, example here. Let's say I just finished a call with someone and then we talked about three things. One about the follow-up about my summer. The second is like how I can follow up with them on the recent pitch deck that I sent. And the third is what's the ideal next step. And this is what I'm going to ask ChatGPT. Hi, I just finished a call with an investor friend who I haven't met for a long time. Talked about my recent trip to Canada, the nice things in the summer. We promise to have another call in six weeks and I will send him the latest deck. This one is really important. Based on what you know about me and my tone, can you give me a drafted reply to him on email and a short message on WhatsApp to about the email? Okay, so this is an imaginary scenario. I don't know how my ChatGPT will actually respond because it, my ChatGPT already knows too many of my... Okay, so it's like really quick. It says that I'll draft both the email and the WhatsApp follow-up for you. Draft the email. Great catching up today. Hi. As promised, I'm attaching the latest deck for secure. It's just using my company's name. And I'd love to hear your thoughts when you get a chance. And let's plan to circle back in about six weeks, as we said. I really enjoy our chat about Canada summers and your big move to California. It's a very structured way to reply. I, of course, can write the same thing myself, but this is just a very, very basic uh, response. And also at the same time, it gives you another message, right? And then it's just, at the minimum, it saves you time to type out all of those messages and in a very nice formatted way. It also sounds like me because like, I always ask people, tell people, I hope the sunshine makes the transitions. Always add some kind of human. Say that, oh, do you want to also add a one-liner in the email to remind him you're actively building without being pitchy? This is a very good, I would say, brainstorm partner and a sparring partner and some someone who knows who what you want to do and al almost always add another step. And then I will say, oh, yes, sure. You don't always have to use it, right? Because it's just a way to see how else you can be better in terms of these reply. Afterwards, it says that, oh, we are in an exciting phase now, building the MVP and start early conversation with partners. So I would like your thoughts when you get a chance. And then it just starts to go into like a subject line variation, that kind of thing. It's not very necessary at this stage. So I will just pass it. The second one is very fun because the second one is actually, it's, it's very useful for everyone. I just live in ChatGPT every day. So I start to ask it to plan the small things for me. I will be like, now I'm in Barcelona. I need to find the closest and the best hair salon because I really, really need the haircut. And because it knows my schedule of the day, it will be like, oh, this one to so where you stay is five minutes, it's 10 minutes away by walking. You can possibly book online, but if you cannot, you can also walk in. Uh, it's a real case for me, right? But I think the best way is to incorporate it into your day-to-day. -day. And it's best when you're 
going to somewhere that you don't know that much. Sometimes you can still make a mistake, so it's very important to check. But I will just show you how it could be done. It's not always perfect. I always ask for like good cafe recommendations. Okay, let's see. I am going back to Hong Kong in January. Can you give me uh, three coffee shop options with today? 10 minutes walking distance of one chai station. Any new ones? Great coffee and good vibes. I think this is very good because otherwise I will have to like search the internet myself. I would need to go through and filter out all the information. Now it just gives you everything. The cool thing is now it not only gives you the links, but it also gives you the photos. Search the local local provider. Hong Kong is to use open rice more. And then maybe in the US they use like Yelp. It might not always be true, right? And for example, this one, I think it's not. <laughs> very correct because I know Hong Kong inside out. So I asked for newish coffee. For summarize my request, newish coffee havens after one chai, where the vibes are mellow, the Wi Fi is solid, and the coffee is top notch. Great, <laughs> you know, great summary. And then here are three gems I found oh, under 10 minutes walk from the station. Let's see if there's anything that's actually good. The first one is at the Hopewell Mall. So this is a new mall opening in Hong Kong, so kind of, and it also gives you like the reference. It's five new coffee shops in Hong Kong, January 2025, bakery by the Grand. So it's actually new, hmm, interesting. And then the next one is Grandma's Coffee. Oh, it's actually a new one. I didn't know about this one. And then it also gives you the reference. I think it just take a reference from the South China Morning Post, which is here. Uh, blink and you miss this tiny independent spot in Wan Chai. And then you can see more on Instagram. It looks like a very cute spot, particularly like all of these turtle lattes, which suits your January mood. So now I'm gonna refine my search. Can you also give me some spots near Admiralty and Star Street? Do you have anything similar to ground or blue bottle. You might have per personal preference and you know what is good for you. You can always give it an example so it can give you more relevant choices. Now it gives me more relevant choices that I actually like in the past. Uh, any new ones? Ah, oh, new coffee spot. Uh, there's no newly launched coffee cafes in 2025. Uh, blue bottle. Blend and grind. Amical coffee, I actually don't know about this one. So as you can see, it's not about perfection. It's just like a quick way to explore. Otherwise, I will open a Chrome tab and then I'll go to another Chrome tab. I don't know about you, but for me, I will get distracted for something else that I would never come back to the task again. I think ChatGPT has become a search engine for a lot of people and then it has become more and more for people to just rely on it to search on things. So it's a good way to explore and if you just get into ChatGPT, it's also a good way to use it. And finally, the third one is brainstorming buddy. A lot of people say that ChatGPT will take away their creativity and stuff like that. I think you actually need to live in real life. The fuller you live in real life, the better ChatGPT can help you. A lot of my content ideas starts with some of my messy thoughts and how I feel every day. I just like brain dump to ChatGPT every day. And then I will ask like a very open-ended question based on what I just told you. What do you think I can talk about for tonight? What do you think I should capture? Of course, you need to, as a human, you need to have your own critical thinking because ChatGPT can still make mistakes. For example, maybe like an office offsite prompt. That's very normal. Like, can you help me brainstorm for my friends? about her team building. By the end of September in London, she works at a big tech company. The office is in Shoreditch. Let me know if you need context. Plan team building. Because ChatGPT knows me too well, I have to say that it's for my friends, otherwise it will just give me my own. And then it will ask you, like team size, budget level, vibes that are aiming uh, for a couple time of, of the day, clarifiers, budget, developmental and meaningful. Time of the day, half day in the afternoon, just uh, three full list. Impact hack and storytelling workshop. Hmm, nice. 
It always gives me good ideas. Climate action team challenge. This is because I asked for impact, right? And finally, it's a community kitchen cook-off. Ah, interesting. Teams cook together under the guidance of pro chefs. It actually gives you some une unexpected ideas. You might not always take it from them. For example, you can take storytelling together with team, uh, community kitchen cook-off, right? Sample agenda, yeah, sure. Please do. And then it gives you a rough agenda for everything that you need. It also makes sense. It's the best for you to run a, like a, an event or something. And for me, I think it has helped me so much. The key thing is though, you don't want to strictly follow this guidance because you are a human. This is a machine. So you always also can go back to this check and say, oh, I've just adapted. Um, this is what I'm going to do. Can you give me something more? And that's the next step. It also gives you an internal pitch deck outline. Yeah, let's go with the option three. And this is team building proposal, community kitchen cook-off. It's really interesting. End of summer, half a day budget I think at least like one hour of work if you task with someone who's like junior to give it give you a go it would take them away from some important task that they're doing and now with ChatGPT, none of these are like confidential and stuff it's just really good this is a playbook everyone can borrow i don't even think you need to like learn from someone else you just need to actually do it actually live your life actually have the questions and to talk to ChatGPT. and now i'm going to use it for my real life use case because i'm doing this comedy event so i'm gonna start a new chat hey for my comedy night you know so first i'll ask it to recall the information sometimes it might not be able to record it and then now it's thinking longer for a better answer. It's also because my prompt is not very good. It's just like, what the hell is this? And then they may be referring to an event concept called Foundamo with a twist. Yes, your Foundamo with a twist. Plug and play pack. It's already giving you title options, event copy, run of the show, MC minute script, steal this, and all of this with, without me asking. And promotion, like all, all the planning. And they start for like 12 seconds. Jesus Christ. Sponsor blurb, budget sketch, house rules. Oh, thank you. I want to brainstorm some icebreaker ideas for my guests. The goal is to have everyone mingle before my monologue and enjoy a meal with people in the same table after my monologue while they enjoy the meal. And finally, have enough to share at the on the stage during the open mic session. Some idea I've been thinking is highlight of the week. 5% spicier, uh, two truths and one lie, hot take about life and life hack. That's fun. Can you help me brainstorm and put them together? Get people talking across tables and then leave them with nuggets that they can bring back up during open mic. Since the flow is mingle, your monologue, share meal, open mic, we can design the questions that start light, get spicier, funnier, and end up with shareable prompt. Round one, gentle openness, good for mingling. And round two, spicier, funny prompt, good for during meal, 5% uh, spicier, two truths and a lie, hot takes about life. <laughs> Meetings should only be like all of these. Your most ridiculous founder fail or work blobber. And round three is stage. You know you're in founder mode when, if your startup had a tagline written by your mom, <laughs> what would it be? <laughs> it's actually funny. Now, mind that this is, um, yes, please do. I just want to see what it will come up with, right? That this is a new chat that doesn't have all the context that I have, that I'm also using an agent mode and all that to build this event as my event manager. But it's just a way to show that you don't even need that much if you're asking for very generic help. And ChatGPT can really, really help you. And finally, it has given up all the icebreaker menu with the emoji. And yeah, I just want to share this really, really short video to show you that ChatGPT or whatever tools people are talking and you feel daunting about it. It's not about being perfect. It's not about being an AI software engineer. It's also not about being like someone who understands all of these, how it works. It's more about giving you back the time that you don't have. Some of the tasks, you don't need to do that yourself. You can have the help with the PPT or Claude or whatever that you're using. How about try one of these this week and let me know how you use it. 
what else that you're using it. If you want more in-depth demo and how I use in different ways, I have the entire list here, which is how I use AI to build a personal assistant. It has all the videos. I think now it has like seven or eight videos already by the time I upload this video. Link in description as well. I also have some other prompts that help you to run your day to save some of your time. And I really enjoy sharing the way that I use ChatGPT with all of you, I appreciate you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and follow the channel for more and share the video, other videos on this channel that also helps you. Uh, I talked a lot about life design, how you can actually live a better, meaningful life and about my founder journey on this channel as well. Follow for more. This is Lydia. I'll see you in the next video.